Hey Ernest, how's it going? This is Devin from SEO Dallas, Texas. I spoke to Suzanne a little earlier. This is just a free educational video on three ways that you can beat your competition online uh, starting today. And you might be asking why I'm doing this for you. And I just realized, you know, a while ago that there's a lot of small business owners that are too busy running their own business to learn how the internet works and how the internet can benefit them and bring in more customers in. And I found that when I give out these free attack plans, some of them still raise their hand at the end of it and decide, hey, you know, I like you, Devin. I want to get this done for you, uh, through you. So this is just free education. If you want to do it yourself and, and apply it to your own website, by all means, go do that. I'd like to see you thrive. If you do want me to take care of this for you so you can continue running your plumbing company, just let me know at the end of this and I'd be glad to help you out. So the three things I'm going to talk about today are going to be content, citations, and then backlinks. So starting off with content, looking at your web page. I love the look of your page. It's got a nice, uh, nice family feel to it. I like that they have a QR code, very modern. Uh, as far as content goes, you are lacking a little bit. I think we're looking at probably about 300 to 400 words on the front page. You're going to want closer to about 1,500. Okay, To be authoritative in Google's eyes, you want to have at least 1,500 words. And you also want to save your images for keywords. So like for example, this one's saved as picture one. That's a missed opportunity right there. You could save that as like plumbing Arlington. And that'll also help rank your website number one for that keyword. So you're going to want to look for those kind of things. All right. Uh, next thing you want to look at is your your competitors. So if you look at JRL Plumbing, they're up there at the top when you tap in Ar uh, Arlington Plumber. They have quite a bit of words. They're sitting like right at about 1500 words. So you're going to want to beat them. I would say since these guys are on your radar and they're number on the number one spot on the page or uh, what's it called? They're on the front page of Google. I would say at least put 1750 to 2000 words to really show Google that you're being authoritative. And the next one is Direct Source Plumbing. Again, another another one on the front page. Now they're severely lacking in their uh, content. They're only sitting about probably 300, 350. So you could easily beat these guys. Just get your website up to about 1750, 2000 and it'll show Google that you're authoritative. Uh, next thing we're going to talk about is citations. So citations are anywhere on the web where you're going to see your name, your address, and your phone number listed. So like if you type in Arlington Plumber, the first thing that pops up that people click on, whoops, is going to be anything in the Google Map Pack because you know if they're in an emergency, they have like a, a major leak or something like that. They're going to pick the trustworthy local guy, and that's who's in the top here. So to get into this, oh look, and you are in, you are in this spot, so it's good. You want to get to the number one spot, but it's good that you're at least in the Mac Pack. Uh, that's based off of citations. So if you want to take that number one spot, you're going to want to add on. Uh, I use this tool called WhiteSpark. It just shows the citations of you and your competitors, and it says that you have 42 citations. Uh, my clients don't start anywhere below 60, so I'd recommend getting it at least up to 60. But if you want to put a nice space cushion around you and make sure that your competitors don't catch up to you, I would say to go up to at least 120, 150 of them, right? Um, J Row, they're at 44, so a little higher than you. You definitely want to go for that, okay? So, yeah, just add some citations, and you can go on WhiteSpark. It's only like 30 to 80 bucks a month, but you can go down and you can see all the, the links that they're using and just take them and use the exact same citations for yourself. Okay. Last thing we're going to talk about is backlinks. And the reason why we talk about backlinks is because Google is kind of a popularity contest. They basically look at websites and they say how they, they look at how many authoritative websites are linking back and giving your site what they call link juice, which is basically just, you know, a authoritative, you know, an authoritative powerful site pushing power to your site. And not all links are created equal. Um, you're going to get a lot more power and a lot more of an effect from a powerful plumbing site pointing back to you than like a uh, you know an ice cream site po pointing back to you. You're not selling ice cream. So I use this tool called RFs to look at the back end of websites is what Google sees and it tells everything about it. So it looks like you have a pretty high trust factor with the amount of backlinks that you have, but you're just not getting any power from those backlinks. And the golden ratio is going to be one to one. So you're going to want to have high quality backlinks. I don't know if you put these links up yourself or if you hired someone to do it, but make sure you're getting backlinks that do themselves have high trust. Uh, high trust and high power and you want to make sure they're they're related to your field they have to do with plumbing okay looking at your competitors the same guys we looked at before jrpl jrl plumbing if i put them in here let's put these guys in here while we're waiting that one for that one to load all right so jr plumbing loading up they're doing a little better 31 and 11 so they're close to that ratio and that's why they're ranking higher than you and then you want to see Direct Source Plumbing, what the heck? Ah, coffee. Let's see how Direct Source Plumbing is doing because they're on the front page as well. 
But yeah, just to beat these guys, they have a lot of backlinks, backlinks, but their preferring domains aren't that high, so they probably still have much spammy links themselves. And you can just go in here and check them out. But you're gonna want to have that high trust ratio to power ratio, and I would add on another at least 100, 150 backlinks, 150 domains pointing back at you. Same with these guys; they're even closer to that one-to-one -one ratio. Ton of backlinks, but they're spammy, and they've actually lost about 600 in the last month. But again, if you add about 150 to 200 websites that are pointing back to you and they have a high trust factor, you're going to take that number one spot on Google without a problem whatsoever and you'll start getting all the traffic that these guys are taking from you. So that's really it. That's all I've got for you, Ernie. The three things I went over today are going to be content, or were content, citations, and backlinks. Content being, I'd say for your niche, getting your website up to at least 1750 to 2000 words. Uh, add on another 100, 120 cit citations, get yourself to the top of that Google Map Pack ranking. And then you're going to want to also uh, get, I would say, at least 150, maybe 200 websites that, are, that are, have to do with plumbing pointing back to you. And that will get you that number one spot on Google. Uh, by all means, again, this is free education. If you want to do this yourself, go ahead and do it. I'd like to see you thrive. I'll be checking in on you. Um, if you do want me to help you out with this, you can always give me a call. My phone number is 214-441-6737. And I'll show you on the website, seodallastexas.com. 214-441-6737. So yeah, just give us a call whenever you're ready. We'd be glad to help you out. All right, thanks for watching this. Have a great day, Ernie.